Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through earwax. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash earwax or in the ear, nose and throat section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Earwax is also called cerumen. It's normally produced in small amounts in the external ear. It's created from a combination of secretions, dead skin cells and any substances that enter the ear. Earwax has a protective effect helping to prevent infection in the ear canal. In most people, earwax does not cause any problems. Let's talk about impacted earwax. Earwax can build up and become impacted and stuck to the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. This can result in conductive hearing loss because sound cannot travel into the inner ear, discomfort in the ear, a feeling of fullness in the ear, pain or discomfort and tinnitus which is a ringing or added sound in the ear. Earwax can be seen on examination with an otoscope. It may completely cover the tympanic membrane, preventing assessment of the tympanic membrane and the inner ear. Let's talk about management. In most cases, earwax does not require any interventions. The ear should naturally regulate the amount of wax in the ear canal without any issues. Inserting cotton buds into the ear should be avoided as this can press the wax further in and cause impaction. There are three main methods for removing earwax. The first is ear drops, usually with olive oil or sodium bicarbonate 5%. The second option is ear irrigation and this involves squirting water into the ear in a controlled environment in order to clean away the wax. And the third is microsuction, which is where a tiny suction device is used to suck out the wax. Eardrops may be enough on their own to clear the ears. If not, ear irrigation can sometimes be performed in primary care. Where there are contraindications and it's not possible to perform ear irrigation, for example the patient has a perforated tympanic membrane or there's an infection in the ear, then microsuction can be performed by a specialist ear, nose and throat service. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment or subscribe to the channel, thank you so much, it really helps. Zero to Finals is not just a YouTube channel, there's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions, an Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge, books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine, and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.